One, two, three, voodoo documentary. Hey, 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 he's got the voodoo popping right now, bud. This bus is <laughs> cracking. You know what I mean? We out here. I'm ready to get high and talk some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let me, what was my vape at, nigga? I ain't rolling nothing up, but let me my vape. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. Do things and say stuff. Okay. Got my candles and everything. I'm ready. Uh, oh shit! You brought what? A lot of wax on that. A lot of wax Woo! on that. Got the candle, bro. You got the little, you got the pin cushion doll too. No, no, I ain't got that. The watch. That's what I should have done, man. I should have gotten a fucking can of tomato juice and just dumped it over my head before the podcast. <laughs> this shit was thick. Woo! There was a lot of blood. So I don't know. A lot of blood. Welcome. I say once again, welcome to this part of this channel called Docs with Fat Cat. Docs with Fat Cat, the nigga below. Oh, and it says it under there. And what it is that? is that we're three doctors and we're here to talk <laughs> <laughs> do Three doctors conversing about arteries. <laughs> we're we three veterinarians. <laughs> we're three veterinarians. <laughs> we're here to talk about our overweight pussies. <laughs> Left side, left, oh. left, 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 left side, the left side. You gotta be the left side. Gotta be the left side. Gotta be the left side. Yo, throw that shit. Oh, nigga, looking like the Puerto Rican Thor right now, B. Get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Port authority. Port authority in that bitch. Nigga, talk about it. <laughs> Sports authority. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Yo, so, so this week, who's left? Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. That would be, that would be pastries. I uh, I selected to go into a cultural difference of something that I remember, because uh, even uh, voodoo itself, I always had the same perception. I think that we all kind of grew up seeing, you know what I'm saying? And when he was so, uh, now, by the way, this is a documentary called Voodoo. Uh, I think it was The Roots to Heaven. Yep. Um, my man, Disman Hus Hus Hansu, Hansu. Which yep. he actually explained what his last name meant. Yep. It was born from voodoo. So that's why he kind yep. of did this from the part. He's from Benin, Benin, Africa. B -E Benin, 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 in Africa. So in this documentary, he went back to his motherland and no explained and no his upbringing. And it gave a little further look on voodoo and what it became through the you know, Western civilization, shall we say. You know what I'm saying? As far as us. Basically, basically at. Hollywood. How right. it got distorted. How right. Got distorted. How, how, how voodoo got distorted. And, and it's funny because the way he kind of described it distorted is the way I remember it being perceived. Yeah. That, that, yeah everybody yeah. remembers that shit. That's, That's right. right. We were shit. sold. Right. And right. If I could say real quick, one of the, I think the unintended connections that we're going to have is this kind of lines up with another documentary that we already watched with um, One Child Nation, with the uh, propaganda, with propaganda oh, yes, of why do we think this way about voodoo? Because it's all we've ever been told. You know what I'm saying? And why yes. do they think that way about the One Child? Because it's all they've ever been told. So now I have the quote in my head that she said in that movie of, are my thoughts my own or just what I've been fucking told? Am I regurgitating and or am I in consuming? <laughs> that was very educational, man. One Child Nation is very educational, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a way of life that you know you, we take for granted. Of like, man, you look at your you look at your country and say it's fucked up. So you so you took a peek over there and be like, ooh, yeah, that's you know what I mean. It's like I, I guess yeah yeah yeah. Close that window. Close that window. Close that fucking right. window. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, don't let them see you. Shut the curtain. They're looking over here. Yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look over don't here. You guys, that's... don't fucking move the blinds. I don't want yeah. them to know that we're yeah. in here. Yeah, and and you know what messes with me for with that's my. Cool. Well, if it's just this, then it could be that. Well, if they were lying about this to us the whole time, let your mind go. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's like yeah. if they... astronauts, yeah. dinosaurs. Well, where, where does it stop? Where you know? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know. I've never been to an excavation site where they they they, they, they know they're out there. They say they still, you know. But what if somebody buried them to dig them up? I don't know. I don't. For real. <laughs> right? But we, we keep learning because we're watching these right. documentaries, so we keep learning. Watching these so documentaries and get a different outlook on things. Uh, yeah. So, for one, he's a hell of a narrator. I want the yes. nigga to, like, yeah. read books yeah. for my kids and bro, shit. You know bro, like, I, like, I was on every hanging word while he was talking, bro. Right. You know, and he says it in such a way. It's delivered. You're like, oh, nigga, take me there. I oh, am yes. in the motherland with your voice. You are bringing me there. Connecting the dots for me, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying. So that was off the rip. I, you know, what I mean, uh, enjoyed how he kind of laid it out there, man. But uh, I tell you, it was uh, the 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 theory of what he was saying, what voodoo is, voodoo is, and what we perceive it as, because uh, what voodoo perceived as the the, the 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 evil right right yeah dark Negative. magic and sorcery he was the, saying the dark magic yeah. sorcery fucking the, you know you've seen it we the all seen doll. it with the, the yeah. voodoo doll yeah. come on yeah they got this a fucking isn't that a isn't a rock group named the voodoo dolls or is that the google yeah doll? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. perfect example of movie serpent in the rainbow serpent in the rainbow i've that. never seen it i've heard that one i've heard Woo! like somebody somebody I said saw that bro yeah. i saw that when i was 10 years old yeah, no. That's, you want to talk a, about fucking nightmares, intense. bro? That's intense. <laughs> I heard about that one. I heard about that. That one. movie was crazy. They say that was one to uh, uh, put inside the uh, your documentary of life to listen to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Damn, that's like God film. That's like yo, before you die, you got to see this. Right. Yeah, so trying to make it, it seem like it was Serpent, Serpent, Serpent of the Rainbow. Of the Rainbow. Serpent of or in the Rainbow. So uh, I, I uh, don't quote me exactly, but it's either or. It's either in the rainbow or of the rainbow. So, I think it's serpent, serpent on the rainbow. I think it is on, of, or in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. There's a serpent. There's a rainbow. How many movies can have that? <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> Put serpent rainbow movie. It's bang. <laughs> but they were saying that um, some of the things that you know when they was making that movie, some shots were like, I, they were actually really doing real, you know, real voodoo in the movie. Oh, shit. But you know what's crazy, man? It's like when he was explaining it, because you look at any um, uh, a lot of religions and stuff, it's, 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 it's the same energy to you. It's, it's, you know, it, name one religion that doesn't have a sacrifice. I'll wait. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I right. mean? Let, let, you know what mean? Let's, let's it. keep let's it real. About it. You know what I mean? It's, you know, name one where they're not, they're not, they're not praying, you know, or, 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 or they're giving back. Or like, you know, what I like about that is they're more, Voodoo, how you saying is voodoo is everything. It's the earth. It's the it's the elements. It's all your elements. Yeah. It's you. You're voodoo. That's how they look at it. We're voodoo. You know what I'm saying? Like we are part of this, all connected with earth. You know what I mean? Kind of like yeah. So I, basically, that's how they. That's how they. That they, listen, man. The only, my belief is everybody, like everybody that's out of America, have their own distinct ways and respect a lot of things that we overlook. You yep. know what I'm saying? So how they take it is like this is a, this is sacred. This is this is this is godly to us. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is what we was taught, what we learned. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So basically in, in, in their belief and what they were saying is that this is our way to be connected to the earth, to be connected to, to the higher beings, you know what I mean? And to mm -hmm. and to live a prosperous life. You know yeah, they saying? wanted to be closer to it. I think how it was projected to us is that they were doing something crazy. But like Homeboy said in the movie, it's just the packaging. You change the packaging. Right. Like we're grabbing, right. yo, because sometimes, listen, I got my medical marijuana card. I smoke weed. Sometimes you get too high and you're eating a piece of chicken going, <laughs> yo, this is a piece of a fucking animal because it's, yo, once again, back to the <laughs> propaganda, bro, you're fed it your entire life, but sometimes you can get too high right. and be like, this is a thigh of an animal that I am putting in my right. fucking mouth. <laughs> when you think about it too much, Arsh. it gets weird. Yeah, but yeah, but right. then yeah, yeah. you, you, and, you know what's food. funny with that? That's funny with that. Cause I ran, I ran away from the chicken legs as a kid because of that, because of a tendon yeah. getting stuck in my tooth. And oh I went yeah. That rabbit, I went on that rabbit hole. Like, yo, what did that control? Was that that nigga's fucking like, like, 
you know, you know, I don't. Yep. It was a tendon. It, it had exactly. a function yeah, at yeah. some point. It worked in his body, and that was stuck in my <laughs> tooth. You know something. what I mean? Like that shit fucked me up a little bit. Like so, mm-hmm. I kind of like the breast more now. <laughs> Hell yeah! Just give me the give me the, carn- give me the meat. Yep. I think they're just more. We hide it. They're just more upfront with it. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna kill this fucking chicken. And it's going to feed me. And, th- and thank and you so why. much for doing that. And and, and yeah, I appreciate right. you so much for giving your life. Right. You know, you sacrifice yourself for me to consume you. I never. Yeah. Who, who and the way they were saying this is like, <laughs> was like you know. Think about what, how 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 the Christians, you know, what I'm saying how the Christians and their belief is. You know what I mean? Like, like they broke it down. Like, God had a man willing to sacrifice his son. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we doing the sacrificing animals. And y'all yeah. giving us the third right. You know what I mean? But in your books and in your literature that you're getting taught in a religion that you believe in and that you're following, you got a man about to kill his own son. And yep. nobody says nothing about that. Why? Why? That's Dude, a good question. I, I had to go to church growing up and there's certain things I'm not saying I'm, you know, fucking ultra intelligent, but there were certain things that stopped at me that went by for a lot of other people. Like I was like, mom, we're pretending to drink blood. What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, mm-hmm. is, yo, this is the blood of Christ. Drink it, and so that your sins may be forgiven. Like you're, that. You're, <laughs> It's not really blood, but I, we're pretending. Oh, to. But it's like, yeah, we are <laughs> pretending. And then the, this is the body of Christ. Wait, wait, we're pretending to eat him right now? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it, that is what, and you're like, it, this is crazy. I'm sorry, but to me, forever, that shit is crazy. So I see it all as fucking wild, you know? But for, hit, from their hit, perspective, hit I see they're not Look, that, I mean, you know, everything. I've I seen these things in, um, uh, I think, Malaysia or Indonesia, where they have their, they have a ceremonial where there's a certain part of a, a island somewhere. Um when a person or their family dies, they wrap them up like a mummy, you know, mummify them yep. and they put them in caves in the, and like they have these mountains of the caves. There's a bunch of caves up there and they put their loved ones up in there. And mm-hmm. once a year they go and take them out, like re- unwrap, rewrap them and march them around town out of respect. Like Whoa. you think about like that, that's crazy. As years go by, the body's going to be de- decomposed more, but it doesn't decompose as they said, Honestly, it doesn't decompose as quick as it does when it's underground. Yeah, because you know I mean? of all the bugs and shit, you know. Yep. That's so wild. it's like it's uh, crazy. So 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 when if your body's wrapped, it doesn't wrapped. it doesn't decompose. It doesn't decompose as quick, like as, as quick. Yeah. Right. If it's not it, wrapped. Right, and put it underground was a big thing too. So you know, I mean, like think how crazy that sounds. Like they go once a year to bring a yeah, dead yeah. body. You know what I'm saying, and and march around town with it in celebration of that yeah. person's life. You know that probably yeah. goes on until like somebody's like, "Oh, grandma, do we have to do it again?" But it stinks every time. You know, yeah. <laughs> for real. You know, but it, these are like you said. This, this is normal to other people. That every I think in every uh, uh, um, belief religion, if you really look at it, there's something strange that occurs that that that, that is a ritual thing in all of them. You know what I mean? It's yeah. something that yeah. just seems off to you. Like that's odd though. So like you said, you can't give voodoo that light when I wasn't really aware that it was like a whole kind of like following. Like I said, I never looked into voodoo. So it's yeah, just kind exactly. of you, man. Yeah, I didn't know that it was a religion. I'm trying to make it all. a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to turn that light into a good light, man, because yeah. everything I saw wasn't wasn't you know what I'm saying? Like the way the way they did the documentary was like, all right. They were doing these. They were doing these rituals. All it looked like was music and dancing. So they're doing that. They're, 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 you know, Yo, they're, if, they're doing the rhythmic can, dancing. Oh they're doing god. the music. You know, I cued. I cued. I cued one of the guys that. Oh god, it was five fifty five maybe, in the fucking thing, bro. I fucking oh god, the, the Yo, move he go, busted out in the Yo, dance. Do, do the do the screen share. Oh, I I I don't have it. I I, I know I fucking. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I said I had cued where it was at. I thought it was five fifty five, but it, uh, you had a, you had a, me, you had a mental. You had a mental. Yeah, cue? I, I I know I should have wrote it down. It'd been better. 
<laughs> but I was cracking up to myself because when they were dancing, it was a chubbier dude, and the nigga was busting out some moves and shit. I was like, look at this shit. I was cracking up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the dances and the tr the tr well, the, 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 they call them trance dances. Yeah, so man. those trance dancing, if you really look at it, bro, it's like the dances motherfuckers are doing now. I've been called that. How long ago I called that? Huh? Bro, I put that on everything. I called that shit so long ago when I talked about the new movement of music. I said, yo, which I find kind of cool, which I don't even know if they intentionally did it or they're not even known they're doing it. But all that movement that's happening now is very more African. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? That, that's, that's the movement right Afro now. Yeah, shit, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. It's very African, bro. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't even know if y'all know y'all doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but you're doing it. Super to cut. Like, oh, he mumbling, but it sounds like he mumbling, but the pattern mm -hmm. of the mumble is you replace that with African words. You know what I mean? Like, who was the guy? You know what I mean? Like, you think about it, it's like, <laughs> you catch a really yeah, yeah. Chill and, then, and then the white guy laughed when he did the African accent. You should have seen him. The smoking weed. And then the black guy does an impression. I don't even know if he's fully black. And then the white guy just starts cracking up. You racist fucks. You thought that was funny? <laughs> if I did a fucking Swedish guy, it'd be just as funny. Trust it's right. Right. Oh, yeah, man. Shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it's so funny. So, so Yo, but you're right. You're right. You know, it is, man. It is. Things, you man. know, if if and, and and the drums, how the way you know the, the drums and the beat and all, like like Listen, it's this is 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 a given. Like, um, in my culture, I'm Puerto Rican, and in my culture, we listen to music that's called salsa, right? Mm -hmm. Now that music derives from African. Music from African hums, African mo African yeah. rhythm, talk and African it. drums. I'm, le I'm learning right now. Come on, talk about it. I'm learning right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 basically, all the older Spanish people, because we're all connected. They, that's how what they believe. But they believe everybody in this planet is all connected some way and somehow. That story, but you remember what they were talking about when they went into uh the the uh what's the name Mata from the Ma Matawada. In the water, mama, mama, wata, mama, 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 wata, mama, wata. That's that. That, that was that was my favorite out of all of them. Out of all of them, mama, wata was 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 one one I I kind of like mama had wata. a favorite for. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Right. Maybe it's because I'm a fish or my zodiac sign is Pisces. I don't know. Feel, I'm, I'm a water element, I guess. I don't right. know, but I felt mama an wata. attachment with the water. Mama yeah. Wata. I they said do. it in in the um documentary that they believe in multiple gods, but I don't think they put a number on it. Right, like they, it right. wasn't like five gods. It this was just the they said multiple. Yeah, right. right. And you know, if you think about it now, look at where Africa's located, and you look at like North America, which natives, you know, what I mean, the Pequots and all the, the, the natives here on this in this continent, they didn't they didn't have boats like I mean they had a canoe, but they weren't fucking deep sailing <laughs> to go all the way across the oceans to yeah. get to Africa. They had some Even, fishing canoes. Yeah, right. Well, and and now just think fish. about. Now think about how similar their beliefs were. You know what I'm saying? And to be oh, the only, Indians and the Africans. The world, oh man, very similar. Very, and don't very even similar. communicate. Don't even communicate right. with each other. They don't even know that they world. even exist on with, with each other. Right. Don't even know about it. You know, it was like, oh, what? Those people are really dark. <laughs> you know what I mean? They wouldn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But somehow their beliefs were very, very similar, man. About you know, very like, similar, bro. Very about, similar. About, the earth and, and, and the elements and, and you know what I mean it's like but to, to me it's like I don't put my 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 eggs in all you know baskets I'm always, I'm I'm open to it all hearing it but that that's one that could make sense a lot you know what I'm saying of mm -hmm. like this is natural elements the sun what the sun can fucking drain you if you're in it too long why because it's fucking energy coming from that shit man yep <laughs> You know what I mean? There's solar energy there's there's a certain power coming from that sun that if you in it too long you're gonna fucking hurt you die. <laughs> Each basically yeah pretty much pretty much pretty much you know, you know what i wish though i wish that the documentary kind of like flipped it because they said all that stuff at the end and i wish that they had started with like voodoo is just nature voodoo and like it took them like an hour and 15 minutes to say that i felt like i would have understood it better if they because you know what it felt like to me it felt like somebody was telling me a story 
about people I didn't know about, but they were talking right. about it like I knew about it. You know, like right. with the guys. He started with he started he with didn't explain youth. it that well. Right. Yeah. He he started with just like him younger, and then he kind of worked it up from there. Yeah. And yeah, he talked about like some rituals before he actually talked about what voodoo was. I, I was just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got into rituals first, bro, and then you know I was laughing yeah. because that part came up where, you know, when we saw the preview, you thought it was a, a, a fucking, a, a kid. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, you thought when she ran and she, she was like trying to get closer. Yeah. She had yeah. Like, a, like a Holy Ghost moment. You know what I mean? The Holy she had Spirit a titty out. The water, with the water. Right. She yeah. had a Holy Spirit and she ran and fucking, what she threw when we saw the preview, <laughs> Maddie thought it was a fucking, it's like, yo, she just threw a fucking baby in the water. <laughs> but, That's what I thought it was. Initially it did look like it, but it was whatever her belongings were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, and then she threw herself. Right. She she but when she ran, she threw it as she went and jumped. But initially, it looked like she had a fucking baby, and she threw the baby in the water and then uh, jumped in. So it was like, oh, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yo, now did you know she, she threw a baby in there? Right. And that I was interested to get to that part, and I was like, oh no, it was just some shit. It wasn't. <laughs> but you know, but I think it was important to that. Um, how he explained it was like especially for me speaking on being, you know, part of the, you know, relatives for the African culture, you know, due to my daddy's side of things, um, that those kind of things, like you got to remember before stories of, uh, uh, before Jesus, you know, the Bible was around for a lot of other places or, or some of these religions, these places had their own beliefs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they believed in something else before other religions hit them. You got to take too. You got to think too. A lot of those people were speaking French, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got to think, you got to see, you know what I mean? So, right. The they French got, they were the first people to colonize them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yo, those pictures there. were so, nuts. The first so pictures. So, a lot of their beliefs yeah. come from French, from the, from, from French culture. Yep. Right. But when they, when they, before the, before they were colonized, that's what he's saying. This is the kind right. of shit they believed in before they were colonized. Right. And when the colonizers right. came, it kind of not. It started burying shit like that. Pushing Christianity changed, on, on, right? Yeah. And, and then they changed it like, no, no, no. What y'all doing? Voodoo. Oh no, that's black magic. Y'all don't want to fuck with that. Evil things happen. Let's make movies. Right. right. Like they, they knew like, what the fuck was going on. Right. That's like. That's like. So, that's like. You're a fucking. You're a fucking. You're. 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 You're a, you're a brain surgeon, right? But you got a dentist coming and tell you, no, you don't want to. You don't want to cut that nerve. It's gonna <laughs> fuck something up. Man, get the fuck right. out of here, Nick. Go. Go fucking. Go fucking. Brush somebody's two teeth or something. I'm a brain <laughs> surgeon. I know what I'm doing. Right, but that's right, basically right. how it was. You know what I'm right. saying? You got the people practicing their practice. They got you got the pe- you got the natives practicing what they're doing for thousands of thousands of their existence. Then you get another group of people coming and seeing what they're doing, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, 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 hold up. That's not right. You need to be right. doing this. Motherfucker, we've been doing this ever since we've been alive Yo, and it's been working. It's so crazy you said that because exactly. when I went into the when I went into the Knights of Columbus Museum. Uh, they have a they had a big painting up there, and on this painting was supposed to be way back when with the natives, and then this 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 Catholic like priest or whatever, he was there with the book giving the good word, and they were all like in praise and amaze and and and, and praying with. And you look at that picture, and it's like, yeah, I, don't, I have a hard time believing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you made them believe, it's almost like, how are you really forcing them? into the, your way of your word where they don't even understand your words because you don't understand theirs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at some point, somebody had to be a hybrid enough to know what was going on. I don't, you know, you yeah, know, there had land- to be a, a connection between the two. Right. How do you understand what they're saying? So it doesn't make sense for you to, you know, see that painting and be like, Oh, they were so open to the religion and they came to the, the light of their belief in Christianity. And they're like they're native, they're the, and their whole get up, but they're kneeling and praying with them under the you know the and it's kind of like that's like you say propaganda like you're you're feeding that into people that want, you want them to see that you want them to yeah. see what something just like, didn't happen. It was just like what the dude said in, in the Book of Eli in that movie, man. When he, that was the that was the main mission was to find the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And 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 he said it most. The, this Bible, this book is population control. It's messed up to think about it that way, man. Yep. Right. It's, you know what I'm saying? But when he said that in the book, in that movie, in the book of Eli, man, that really made me stop and think like, yo, like, 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 to be honest, I, my, my, my mindset was like, yo, 
why, for one, are they trying to denounce Christianity? And two, like, there's a lot of this. Like, there's a lot of it happening, too. Like, there's a lot of denunciations of Christ going on. Right. And, and I'm like, but, but why? Like, and, this and is supposed to be one of the best things that ever happened to right. humanity. And that's what, you know what I'm you saying? Take, you take a good book and a good word that, you know, there's positive things within there. And then you get people that start altering things and they take it and they and they use it like, you know, like I said, when somebody believes so strong about it, they want to impose their will on people. You know what I mean? Like, this is what you yeah. need to believe in. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck what you believe in. What are you doing? Cutting a chicken? You're stupid. Get over there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Pick up this yeah. fucking cross and come over here and cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, that's the kind of treatment they gave. Like, you know, like that. Who are you to dictate? To- that's why I always like when people will go into it with me and I've always been that open-minded with that shit. And I was like, you know, I would, I would challenge somebody when somebody's like, yo, but you know, I'm not, I'm not knocking you in your belief, but my whole thing is like, who the fuck are you to tell somebody that yep. has a, that's been reading out of the Quran that's just as yep. old as the Bible. How are you to tell yep. that man? If yep. not, it might yep. be older. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? You can't Same. tell that man. That's, that's exactly that, what the actor mean. was saying. The narrator. He's like, yeah. he's like, listen, we, you know, we all believe in our beliefs and we also respect all other beliefs also. Yep. But, I, you know, like, like what you believe, I don't have a problem with what you believe in. That's, that's your right. You can believe that, you know, and it's cool. No problem. He said, but the problem I have is that how are you going to tell me that I'm wrong? Yeah. Right. And my beliefs are wrong. We don't do that to nobody. We don't, we don't, we don't yep. go out saying that Christianity is this and Christianity is that, or or Judaism is this and Judaism is that, or you know what I mean, or Buddhism is this and Buddhism is that. No, everybody got their own beliefs and we respect their beliefs right. just as well. We want the same. Respect ours too. Yeah. And you know what? I I I I, I a million percent agree, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Me too. And what, that's what, how I was taught up. That's how you know my father raised me and my parents. Listen. Everybody got their own beliefs. Just because somebody don't believe in something that you believe in doesn't make you wrong or them wrong. You just got two different beliefs. Right. You know what I mean? Your belief is no better than his, and his is no better than yours. Right. Because you think about it back then. don't treat people that way. You know what I'm saying? And I always had that, that, you know, that respect. And then when I was watching this, knowing what I already knew, you know what I'm saying? Coming to this, yo, like, I was watching this with the utmost respect, like, Whoa, like you know what I'm saying? Like certain shit, I, like there were certain parts, bro, that I didn't even watch because I right. felt they were like almost inviting, you know, like inviting certain shit I didn't want to bring in. Because I believe yeah. in that. Like I, I believe in like if in certain shit you fuck with certain spirits or certain things you're not supposed to be fucking with, you're opening the door for that shit to to, to affect you. You know what I mean? So so like on certain on certain things, bro, I just was like I felt I felt a vibe like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hold up, yeah, it yeah. feel right, so I didn't even look at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then everything else, you know, and then I continue to watch where I felt, you know, all right, this, uh, you know, it's, it, like, bro, like, it's crazy. Like, I, I, I kind of so, was like, I, I was, was watching it, it like a scary movie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Sorry, sorry. Hey, I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> Yo, you got to get some protection were, in your pocket. You good. There were also cliffhangers that I wish you went into because one of the, and I can't remember the name of every single God, but one of the, um, times when the guys were dancing and they were doing a lot of like i would almost say barrel rolls where like they kind of yes. like jumped and did a flip and landed and, land, and then right he was saying talking about it talking about it, and he's like and at one point they start to defy gravity and then they went on something else and i'm like tell me about these motherfuckers dancing until they fly because <laughs> <I know. laughs> you can't yeah. drop that on me and then right, just be like right. bye <laughs> like, no Yo, I'm, I'm not gonna front yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I kind of want it i kind of want it <laughs> oh, damn, this fucking cat. hold on baby girl hold on baby girl you're fucking my shit up right now go ahead get up here that shit was aggressive yeah, i ain't gonna front. Yeah, yeah. I kinda, but you kind of want... saw it when he was dancing after he said that and they kept the picture on the on the on the person dancing and like you kind of seen them, like holy shit, man! Is that yeah, motherfucker they touching the ground? Yeah, they were moving. I'm talking about what about that costume that I kind of want with the fucking like a tumbleweed and that nigga was jumping around and shit. Uh-huh. Like, that should look, <laughs> like, that should look crazy. No, yo, they to, said yo. that. Was, to be honest, I don't know. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but to me, they were saying that those were probably like you know one of those guys. I think to me that looked like a racket, if you ask me. Like a what? Like a racket, you know what I mean? Like dumb people dressing up like that. 
because you heard what he said. He's like, if they, if those things inside those things, if they see any transgressions, you got to pay them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he was there and he was saying that, you know, those people felt like we wasn't respecting their customs or their whatever. So just because they felt that they wasn't paying homage or, or getting respected as they nah, thought, remember? they had to get paid. They He had to pay them yeah. also. Right. Remember the what you call it? From the drone. Remember that shit? Niggas almost got yeah. hit with that Homeboy drone. Homeboy almost got yeah. hit with a rock. Yeah. He about to bash his head in with that stone. I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Yo, he about to get in the business. You can't yeah, get yeah, 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 because that's of the train that was there. there. Because that was right. that's like because it's an open they, top. You know, it's an open top. You gotta, and like, and that's you another, see, you got and that's the thing that you gotta you gotta understand. You gotta respect things, yeah. And respect these things, man, because people will you're fucking kill be, you over the You gotta like you're this. supposed to be asking if everything is cool. Yo, did they mind if I do this? Right, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yo, listen, Yo, like you have to take this very serious, bro. Like just be see, that's another thing about Americans, man. Like we're we arrogant. think we're so above everything. We're so above right. the law. We're so above life. You know, they bring right. the best fucking it's our country. Way. If and, they don't do it our way, you know, it's, it's, you know they're right. fucked up. If it's not the way we're saying, if it's not the way, then it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not right, doesn't exist, yada, yada, yada. So yep. we take something like looking at a fucking square box with a mound on it, and we're looking at that, all right, whatever. Yeah, it, exactly. But to the natives, bro, that's a god. That's like, listen, you know what I mean? You're gonna pay respect right. here. If not, we're gonna fucking shoot you in your face. And you're looking at right. it like, what? Is, right. is this it's, something it's serious? serious? Right. It's, it's very serious, serious. Me, man. And, that, and that's the, you that's, know the what naive, that's the naive shit, the arrogance of like. Yes, you know, your, that's your, the your exactly the arrogance and the and, and, and the naiveness of us. Right. It's just like pfft, look at this nigga over here acting stupid. What's that? A chicken? <laughs> like <laughs> they take that shit serious, man. That's what they. You know what I mean, that's this. This is what they believe in, bro. You know what I mean, it's, it's, that should be a fucking t-shirt. How about the priest? How about the priest, bro? <laughs> that, that was nigga? explaining and also being involved and showing, huh? How about that guy? Oh, the older guy, right? How about the costume that I want with the dude that was sitting down that looked like he was in all under all fucking meat? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was crazy. Right? Huh? Yeah, what was that shit he was stepping on? Was that me? Oh, I don't know. They were so it was, it was all types of like shit. Not, but, but it wasn't like that. It was not that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about when they was in the village, and the mm. dude was sitting down, and they yeah. was explaining that once he starts to move and get up, the whole town is excited because he's taking all the problems and all the things away, you know, from the town. That that setup. That like what what was that made of? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. It was towards, it was like, towards like a, a, at the end a little bit. Yeah, it almost looked like a primitive leather mixed with meat somehow. It was fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know, know. But that's an amazing practice if you think about that. Like, I think just mentally how people talk about the secret and different things like that, even if you're playing pretend or if you really believe it or not, just going through the process of I'm taking all my problems, I'm putting them there, and they're leaving. That's just yeah. amazing mentally for you. Like, that's yes. just... That's not no weird, quote, voodoo shit. That's, bro, that's an awesome practice of like, whether it's symbolically, however it is, I'm taking all my shit that I don't want, boom, I'm putting it there and it's going away and you get to see it happen. That's got to be great for your fucking head. I'm telling you, right, that has right, to be right. a cleansing of sorts, you know? Right. And we always, as, you know, as, uh, you know, people here, you know what I mean? Modern day people living, you know, in America, things like that, like, we look at them, and we're like, yo, you guys are bogged out, right? Primitive. We look at them as primitive. But, yeah, primitive. Yeah. But check this out, right? right? But check this out, right? But yet, right? They don't worry about where their next meal is coming from. Yep. They don't worry about they don't worry about paying rent. They don't worry about bill collectors knocking on their doors. You know what I mean? They ain't worrying about, you know, this. But they do got to worry about malaria, though. <laughs> like, right? But they don't even worry about that. But, but the thing is, my, my thing is down. this. My thing is this, <laughs> well, not the, everybody. Their, the their, their cares and, and, and their worries are so different from ours. Right. It's like, really survival like, shit. Yeah. Survival shit. Our, they're, they're... our worries and our fucking things are like so minute compared to right. theirs, bro. We think like my... our shit is, is, is so fucking... <laughs> like uh... My Wi-Fi or the next village is trying to kill everybody in your village to take over. Yeah. Or my right. wife. Exactly. Or my wife my problem. What are we talking about? Right. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And all you got and, to and arm yourself think... is a goddamn spear. Like, right. 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 You got you got a guy ready to fucking commit suicide because his girl left him. You know what yeah. one <clears throat> you know what you know, one you got, like you said, you got a town, you know what I mean? About the fucking right. people killing each other in a town. Like, come on, what, what you know what I'm saying? Right. Whose problem is what? Yeah. Right. 
I know they 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 got some life and death problems over there. Mm-hmm. But yo, mm-hmm. what about the one where the guy has it? He's in one of the small little things, and remember, he's holding the chicken by the neck, and then he just goes, "Flap your wings," and it does it, and then he yeah. tells it to like stretch its legs, and it does it. That That's, was the one for me where I was like, I "Oh, watching. oh, whoa, he's, he's okay, okay." That was one of the parts I didn't watch. I heard yeah. it, but I wasn't watching that. Yeah. Because yeah. that's 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 black magic. Doing shit like that, like that's black magic, bro. Like that's yeah. sorcery shit, I believe. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not. But right. but if you got a fucking chicken by the neck, the nigga don't speak languages. He doesn't know what you're saying. So have a motherfucker say, yo, flap your wings. And the motherfucker's flapping his wings. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that one, that one got me where I was like, right. ooh. It's like was... maybe maybe every time a chicken's held that way, it does those movements all the time. Right. And it just coordinated that shit. That might be. <laughs> conspiracy maybe. theorists. Who's got a chicken? Maybe. <laughs> I got people with chicken, actually. My, my, my. <laughs> little CT, shout out to him. He got a chicken coop. Let me borrow nice. one of them little niggas. Hang them up. <laughs> Yo, if I had a house with a yard, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't not look into it. it. You know, it's shit everywhere though, man. I be looking. I'm just like, I don't about the at fucking me. guy that cut the goat and took and stuck his head inside his throat. Yeah, that was what, bars that was, in the first ooh. place, but that was one of them that got a little intense for me. <laughs> to where it was, bars. there there were a lot of initial dances, people getting you know a little bit, little bit. Yeah, you're spitting out alcohol, but then yeah, when homeboy just went, I'm going in and came back up <laughs> like. Yeah, came back up that like was... mankind in a fucking, you know, death yeah. match in Japan. He came yeah. back with the full crimson mask. Ooh. That was... That was crazy. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. But, but you like know what? About it. You know, I kind of wanted to, to be there when it happened. Like, yeah, I kind of <laughs> wanted to... Bro, because I... Uh, is it experience I happening there? Like. Is something really, happening like, to that man right now? Yeah, because, yo, it's it like, went full blood across his face. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm was the thing hey, just I, I, killed? I wonder, was it did he open born? his eyes when he was in there? I don't. Ghost I, I blood, think he opened man. his eyes and his mouth for real. Like I think Ooh, he was. Like, but you think about you it, it's a way that they about a trance. You it's know, the way that they show like yeah, they show homage to the you know the the, the, the thankfulness yeah. to these animals. You know, it's and you know what I just thought of. I bet you it's like how they say they're in a trance. You know, you're a different person when you're horny. You know what I'm saying? You're a <laughs> fucking different human being when you are horny. So right. I bet you it's like that when they get like horny for religion, however that would be, you know what I'm saying? When they get in there, it's just, it's got to be energy <laughs> and people, and they're just fucking Yo, the doctor said it himself, bro. <laughs> that's like, a, it that's like a book journey for religion, man. Horny for religion. <laughs> horny for you know religion. I mean? it's Yo, like, the, and it's all about your journey to, to, to think at different fucking religions. That's dope. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what, like, they, they go to a different level. Go ahead, yeah. Talk to them. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? Like, like, no, 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 like, yeah, because how he was spitting all that blood out and all this and dancing and all that, and, and then he's like, I couldn't tell you where I was at. I couldn't tell you what I was doing. Yeah. I couldn't tell you where Black I was. House. It's like a what? It's like a old, right? It's like like bro, runners get like, a, right like now, runners get runners bro? high. Yeah. Adrenaline when 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 people lift cars off of people. Yeah, they're adrenaline. Just you get, they're just you get runners high, geeked. and it's like you you have an out of body experience. It's almost like something autopilot takes over, and, and yeah. it's like where did that? I don't even know what the fuck happened. Shit, ODB fuck lifted out. a car. ODB saved a fucking like pregnant woman one time. It was I a story like it was in the story. source. Yeah, I remember that. Back shit. when Holy there were magazines. <laughs> Back in the days of magazines, people had physical copies. Yep. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. In, But yeah, that's what I think it is. I think they're just fucking geeked out they feel the energy energy is real you know what i'm saying it's it's the same reason we don't want to watch fucking nba games with no crowd like even if we got a digital crowd in the back yo baseball we have a fake crowd in the background and it feels better you know what i'm saying right. they just don't you right. have to spit the ambiance and just yeah. do something because quiet arena get, is like practice and practice we just yeah. want to fuck around <laughs> energy is really really real you know i don't i don't know that we know how to harness energy and control it that well yet but i think we all know that right. it's real you know yes and there's levels to control and that's why i say like i like and i think and i think those are ones that use a lot of energy you know and they have and they have the keys to harvesting and channeling those energies yeah and what about what about the story what about the story now because once again he was talking about like you know they had their own beliefs but then it got kind of like not talked about they had the story about the two brothers. Now, I think I've kind of heard this one about the brother that went to the Caucasus Mountains, right? That's where the word Caucasian yes, yes. came from. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, that whole story there, that's where black and white became because he went somewhere where he became real pale. 
So that, I've heard no the story. It's like, yeah, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's from Africa. And then somebody was like, he just went somewhere with no sons. Like, fuck you, man. I'm going to go start my own race. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And hence born the European. <laughs> and that's what they say when the Europeans came back for the slave trade and everything, that that was, you know, who they thought it was. It was, uh, you know, descendants of, yeah, that guy. Right. And how yep. about the girl that was, the, the girl that was, you know, involved in the slave trade? D'Souza. Like her grandfather. Her grandfather was a, was one of the slave traders. Yeah. The, and last, she was like, I fe she felt like shit knowing, you know, seeing these little, you know, as growing up, seeing these people just leaving and not coming back, leaving and leaving. And, and yo, grandma, what's going on here? This is right. the third. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> that, that's, that's an experience in its own. Right. Just imagine, mm -hmm. just imagine your grandparents are slave, a slave, Traders, bro. Right. It's like it's like it's like ushering cattle through a yard. I mean, that's all right. Come on, yeah. Over here, come here, pick the, pick the, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, oh, where are they going with that herd, there, mommy? You know what I mean? Like yeah. kids talked about it like they were, you know, like people were fucking animals. What? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Why do they do that, mommy? I don't know, honey. I think his butt itched. Why did? Why does his butt like? What is that big thing under there? It's. it's I believe it's his penis, honey. It's bigger than the average. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah put a little sprinkle up. Show. Just imagine, you gotta put a little sprinkle. You gotta put a little sprinkle in front of me, but it's no, crazy. I'm saying, I'm saying. You know I mean? these, 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 these are talks. These are talks that have been. That, that, oh, that that's what I mean. It, it sounds stupid, but back then, you, they, there's the kind of shit they would they would have naked uh, slaves yeah. there and be like, "Why does it look different, mommy? It looks a little bigger." Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, you, know, you know what I mean? Well, the women were like, "Ooh." You know what uh, <laughs> outfit I liked? Do you remember the one that was like, it was just a single hole in the neck and then it was a full like poncho all, all around yeah. it and he would just swing it around his neck and yeah. let it fly yeah. off almost like a pizza? That was fucking dope. Yeah, that, that was, that was that really was dope. Like spinning. I was like, oh, that's a fish. I wish right they there. got the into... That was dope too. I wish they got more into um, like the women's and the men's clothing, like those bright, bright clothes. I wanted to know, like, did they make them? The costumes. Well, those are yeah. different oh, costumes. Yeah. Well, no, no, the they, costumes, but just the normal clothing as well. And that's for anybody oh, out yeah. there that ever wants to say, like, damn, black people be flashy as fuck. It's in the culture, man. Ever since back to Africa, yeah. and they don't even know it. Most black people don't yep. even know you're channeling. When you want bright yep. colors and flashy, that's part of the just culture, even back in Africa. But in Africa, it's more like the brighter, the more, you know what I mean, alluring, like a red robin. You know what I mean? I've learned yep. that about a red robin, the birds. The brighter the bird, the more attractive the female is. The male has to be bright. The brighter the male is, he's going to get the women. That's how they find mating. So I was like, oh, so we're not the only species that judge people how they look. <laughs> right, you right. Know, and, for and birds, they see it, a bright a color. Of, like, oh, that nigga bright. Oh, girl. There was a lot of African kings also that, that were, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of African kings and queens were were the ones at the time back then with the jewelry, with the with the with the you know with the with the over exaggeration yep. of jewelry on mm -hmm. and and you know and, and all and all the bling yeah. and, and all yeah. of that like they were the first ones to do shit like that, bro. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and there's and and, and hence you know we that's that's what our culture is about now. Right. You and that's what, what I said. that's what I said. I said when you look at it, it's like oh yeah, she's like oh man, because you know even because I, I always had the joke about my other things like man. I don't know, man. Certain dark skin people should be wearing some colors. It don't, it don't bleh, it don't mesh well. You know, but I laugh because you know it's like no, it always been a thing. You know what I mean? Dudes in Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. midnight black, and they got they got neon green or purple and orange. You know what I mean? And bright yellows yeah, and yeah. very peacock colors. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh, that's bright, bro. But that's that's what they do. That she keep up, cause colorful. Yo, but but the, but those exactly. costumes were pretty were pretty dope. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And how and how they came and how they said that. If they come through your town, you can't get in their way and don't try to let them touch you. Because basically, right. then you're going to get the, the the evil energy they're trying to take out. They're, they're trying to get, they're trying to dance it gonna away. Get, you're gonna right, get they're trying to take it out. Yeah. And if they touch you, you're going right. to have it. You know what I'm I'll saying? So don't be in their way. Just energy. stay the fuck out their way and let them do what they All do. Right. Yeah, how about one of the chicks? Or I was laughing when, uh, you know, because this man had his part where he was he was kind of breaking down. He was doing his little movie. Saw that? Shit. Saw that? Yeah, yeah. Saw that? Shorty, shorty tried to bag him over there. You know, big old big old African <laughs> sisters like, oh, big man, you come over here. Yeah, you got a lot of money, right? <laughs> She's about to get him. About to get him. <laughs> well, I, I, to me, it looked like like she was trying to trying to tell him like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you too American. You, you, this this isn't. 
You left this it. This is not you know for you. That's not for you, baby. Right, right. You, you're you're Americanized now. You, 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 you stop it. Cut it out. You can't do it right. You're not doing it right. Stop it. She just wants to I know. I'm almost like. No, you, you're not about to, you know, you, you wasn't going to, okay, yeah. It's yeah like, no, no, stop but you that, stop no, that. No. Yeah. Leave that for, leave that for, he's, uh, he's considered, a, you know, like, uh, you, you, you he's know. He's Americanized now. He's watered down yeah. now, you know what I mean? Yeah, you smell, you, 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 you smell different, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know long, nigga. you smell like, like ivory, nigga. Nah, they smell like, I, not, not the elephant tusk, nigga. You smell like ivory right. soap. You know, right, 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 right. Keep it yeah. natural and organic around here. Smell that funk. That's what we do. You ain't got that. Mm-hmm. You ain't down. No, 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 no. You, you don't got that. You don't got that no more. You don't got that no right. more. You, you know foods I mean? they eat and seasonings yeah. they eat a lot. It's coming out of the pores, so it's going to include it in that funk. Of course. You know I mean? Of so course. Got a lot of curry. A lot of curry popping. You know, they got like some African fucking uh, uh, seasonings I saw one time before that are like... You go into a little African market, they got little African markets, man. You go inside one of them shorts, man, and they got some shit where you just like some weird looking like seasonings that are like black balls and the weird shit in there. Like, what? I don't know what it is, man, but they say you're supposed to grind it up and put it in food. Uh, you know, but it's unfamiliar to you, but it's like, man, maybe I'd really enjoy it. Maybe I could tap so far into hundreds of years of my ancestors that really lined up from there you know what I'm saying? right it might click it in your palate it might already be right. there somewhere it's, right? it, listen i felt that way you know uh my, my greek side of the family i wasn't around them like that growing up until i was maybe like around 11 ish or so maybe yeah um then 11 ish um started eating that food i started coming around like my mother she she knew about it, but she didn't really cook a lot of greek food she just wasn't you know she wasn't greeky yeah. greeky but you know <laughs> She knows about it, and you know now. You know, you know when she got back around the family, it jogged her back into picking those recipes up and incorporated. But what I was saying is, my first time diving into the Greek Mediterranean cuisine, it was like it was uh, another place that I've I've been before. You know, it was crazy, man. It was just meant to be like in my home. palate, right? Yeah. It was like, yo, you, because if you do the smell test, if I just went by the smell test, why would I ever eat feta cheese? Like, who the fuck would eat that? You know yeah. what I mean? Like. You smell feta cheese, you're like, oh, God, it smells like throw up. What the fuck is that? People eat that? You know what I mean? But I fucking eat it by the handfuls, bro. Yep. It's fucking, I think I even said it in a rhyme. <laughs> yeah, way back in the day. Way Man back up. in the day. You know what I mean? You get feta fed by the handful, something like that. <laughs> but it was just that, that was weird to me in that part of my life to have these, this flavor profile that I wasn't accustomed to get new to me and become like it was second nature, like I've always been there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, 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 the yogurt sauce, the tzatziki sauce, the yogurt sauce they put on the gyros and shit. Mm. You know what I mean? My cat is wilding. <laughs> I'm saying, man, it's can I say that with chicken? Huh? Can I say that with chicken? What? When you had it, chicken for the first time, it felt like home? Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. Is that, is that meant to be? Uh, Guys, did you the, go first way back time, <laughs> the first time I had mayo. <laughs> it was, I, knew, I knew this was, I knew this was meant to be <laughs> the first saying, time because, because I, I let pumpkin touch my palate. Like, and you could cook chicken any type of way you want. I'm going to eat it. If it doesn't have mushrooms, you know it's so funny you say that because we had a jokes. Week, I'm going to eat it. We, we had a week in this house of having to stretch out some food and. Um, Every meal for the last three nights has been a chicken pro- product, and I'm not mad. You know, you would think like, oh, yeah. yeah, again, it's just because there's so many different ways you can do chicken. it. You know what I, I mean? love chicken. We had we had chicken tenders one night. Bake. We we we've been we've been staying away from the fried shit and trying to bake stuff more. So you know, oh, bake is bake. the way to go, bro. Yeah, oven bake, oven bake. I want to get a, I want to get an air fryer. I think that'd be key too. A what? Air air fryer. Oh, I thought you said hair. I'm about to say, where did they have that? Just put an air dryer to my nuggets, nigga. It's going to get there. <laughs> Fly, Fly got one of those. What? Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. yeah. I heard, you know, they kept captured, captured that crispy. So I had that. Then I had, a, then I had a chicken parm the second night. And then the third night, I had chicken teriyaki. See how this can go? And you can never get tired of this shit. Mm-hmm. So many ways. No, no. I just went oh, from man. fucking Italy to fucking China in two days. <laughs> and then the French. Right. Well, the nuggets, I don't know. That's America, right? I mean, you know, chicken tenders. That's, you know, it's K. Yeah, it's that's beautiful stuff. that it can become something else just with the sauce. Exactly. It's all about the sauce. How you it's all about sauce? the sauce. It's all about the sauce. It's all that's about the sauce. That's, that's why that's we use shirt. that in, in our ebonics shirt right there. Right Put now. that down as a shirt. It's all about the sauce. That's it's all, shirt, all about the so. sauce. We're sauce talking so about separate. tomato sauces and cooking sauces. They're going to look at it as 
clothing wise, apparel wise. Right. So it's yeah. whatever you want it to be. Yeah, you go. When pastry presents, it's all about the sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whether it's the drip. Listen, that's you know, I used to think about that, man. I said that'd be, you know, like even like just a pastry line apparel, you know what I mean? Because all colorways are named after treats and shit. You know what I mean? Like a fucking, you know, strawberry yeah, pastel, shortcake. yellow, or you know, I got the strawberry short, got the strawberry shortcake sunglasses and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. just the colorway of them, and maybe yeah. some designs with fucking uh, cream puffs. <laughs> cream puffs? I like cream puffs. Yeah, we'll talk to, I'll right. talk to a guy. I'll create a couple cream puffs. <laughs> but but that but, brings uh, you back. That you know what I'm saying? Getting back to the joint, like mm -hmm. especially him, right? How he went from from Africa and his and and, and 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 all of that to America, you know what I'm saying? To becoming a, a good actor, shot. right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, to, yeah, after, yeah. To, to then come back after being after being a stat and an established actor and having you know and having things, you know what's from crazy? having nothing to having a lot of stuff to then go right. back to where you, you know came what? from. He didn't he didn't dive a whole lot into. So I feel like he needs to have his own documentary out, and then we need to yeah. Watch that. Because I feel like, yeah. you know what I mean, like a backstory of his rise to becoming an actor from a place like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's that's where you're, just, from. you're right. That's a story in his that's own. A, yeah, absolutely right. That's right. a village. Like, somebody educated you enough to get you uh, uh, up out of there almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. not everybody makes it, obviously. You know what I mean? Some people yep. don't want to. Somebody, go, right. Somebody saw something in you, and you must have believed in them that right. you, you know what well, I mean, from where, from because where you, you're saying you're from this place. Right. So somebody must have came to you, believed in you, you must have believed whatever they were saying and trusted them. And then, you know, everything right. else was everything else. Course. I think he said it because I think he was talking about it a little bit. I was saying I chose to leave my, you know what I mean? What yes. I knew, you know what I mean? He, he said, he tapped on it a little bit where he was talking about, you know, I made that decision to leave, you know, and explore, you know what I mean? Because they have that, like the Amish almost, you know, but I don't think they're right. banned like that. Right, but they're probably sure as hell he ain't gonna be able to stay there more than a couple of days. But, I well, mean, I mean, bro, look what he, look what, he, what look what he had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look what he was. Look what he left, and then right. look what he gained. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. So you know, probably, so, if anything, it's more love because you know he went back there and made it rain. Like, yo, who wants Jordans? Y'all ever run right. out here in Jordans? Like, you know, <laughs> you're not you're not just Jordan. You know what I mean? But like food and supplies, shit I that think he it's knows more of, yo, who his wants village chicken? would need. It's like, right, it's like more what his people would need without offending them and trying to give them something that they're not accustomed to. Yeah. Right. I mean, don't start Right, that, that is true, because people do get offended when you give them shit. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you're trying to give them technology and shit. Like, nigga, I don't want that. Yeah. I'm good with this little <laughs> stick and knife. Let's leave it alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I got a stick. I got a knife. I catch my goat. It works. I know how to use it. Right. Yep. I, like, you see the dude was ready to kill that motherfucker, and all he had in his hand was a rock. Yep. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> and look, how many times have you watched the news and somebody got killed from blood to the death? You know what I'm saying? Like from something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I will beat yeah. you in the head with this until you're dead. And he. I thought it. it was powerful yeah. too that when they said the Pope came there to you know try to smooth things over with changing shit, shit over, and he left, but left also a positive message where like he mm. didn't you know transition everybody over to being a Christian, but he was like, hey, I understand what they got going on, and I'm not mad at it. You know, obviously, he said it. Right, I, I, and I could away, But he was just exactly. like, right. hey, they're doing their thing. No no harm, no foul. Right. I thought that right. that was good. That was, that right. was and, But that's something to where if that happened today, everybody would know about it. But because it happened back then, all you have to do is choose to not cover it because right. that would have been that whole, like, oh, the Pope said there's nothing wrong with voodoo. That'll change a lot of people's minds, you know? <laughs> right. Yes, I agree. I agree. So the Pope I said agree. what? Yeah, the Pope said. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah. Right. It, it, if the Pope gave a thumbs up, we'd have a different outlook. Ass, you get money, yeah. people would do it. There'd be more people sacrificing chickens to this day. <laughs> That's not all they do. That was, see, that, I, I was, like a, the, that was another propaganda point. I mean, but they do use chickens. We've seen it. They show yeah. it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I like the parallel that they made with Thanksgiving because they said, we do it once a year. They do it every day or every time that they kill something because at thanksgiving that is a thing that we're just like we're oh my god thank you for this so that we're right. able to have this and right. they do that shit every time they eat they're like right. thank you for this well oh some people do well shout out to my man shout out to my man fat cat i know from knowing him since we were kids before every time he came to my crib grubbing he's always his prayer before his food you yeah. know what i mean and it's funny because yeah. a lot of times it'd be like 
I'm talking to say, yo, son, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking up. Yeah, yeah, I'm just in it. And they be like, yeah. What up? What you saying? Like, yo, I just, I just fucked up your whole shit, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trance. Right. And, that's, so, and that's just something that I was another, that, that, That's another. That's another. Something that I was taught from thing. my dad. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and he was taught that from his dad. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's so, more of the same related thing between religions and cultures that it's a similar yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Christians, Catholic, it's the same kind of thing. You show thankfulness before your food. You know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't even think I didn't. Me personally, I didn't even think it was a a religious thing. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was just the right thing to do because that's what my dad mm-hmm. always taught me. My dad was right. like, "Yo, listen, man. You know, it, it was more of a of a place coming from being poor. You know what I'm saying? Where right. we're in poverty. We, we, you know what I mean? We poor." You know what I'm saying? Be thankful um, for this. Give thanks because you got something that maybe somebody else don't got right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So be happy with that and, and, and thank God and, and, and tell God thank you for for what for, for 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 the little bit that you do got because where we from and and where we coming from, you know what I'm saying? It, is is you know it's poverty. You know what I'm saying? And you know everybody don't don't have you know the spoils. And things like that, like other people do. You know what I mean? So I always, we was always, we always, you know, my dad always, always kept that in me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Always be humble and always be thankful for everything that you get. You know what I mean? And and I always kept yeah. that. And that's what I try to instill right. and teach in my kids. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Gotta thank the apple from the tree you came from, nigga. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's it's nothing wrong with giving thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? And being thankful, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, that's just my that's you know? it, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know what I mean? My man Dushman, Dush, Dushman, Dushman. I didn't mean to call you Dushman. Dushman yeah. gave a nice documentary. Dushman. Where's the right diamond? Man. Where's the? I love that movie. Blood Diamond. That's that guy. Shit, that's that guy. Blood and diamond. he also was in Amistad. That was the first yeah. joint. That was the first joint I saw. Yeah. Him was Amistad. Yeah. You know, and make he us, said, too, make he's us like, free. He's like, yo, make that brought free. me back to my roots. He said. He had to really, he had to experience something that was like, he I'm said, yeah, he, he experienced, like, yeah. like the movie, when they did Man, the movie, so they actually went to the spot. Right. The real spot where they were trading him. Yep. Yeah. Yo, and they were reenacted him. in that spot. In, in Leon. I think it's Leon. Sierra, Sierra Leon. Sierra yeah. Leon. Think of them ever trying to do that today. No, we're well, going to no, no, That's with the diamond spot. Clinic. That was the stuff with ah! the diamonds. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was right. no, the Sierra Leone was where they do is where the blood diamond spot is. But yes, I'm, I'm yes, talking yes. about Amistad and Amistad is you know what I'm saying they, that was a went. big but Sierra Leone was a big port too when they were shipping out slaves. Oh, okay. I don't know about where he was at, but I know it was a big I thought uh, I big, thought I thought that was where they had where where because it's blood, Leone, where, where so I think it's the Sierra, Sierra Leone it's around the Ivory Coast. That's oh, where okay. was, that's where they were like the okay, main okay. one. You know the main port was. I forgot the name. I watched it one time, a, a documentary of another. Well, another main port where that lady was too about with the slave trade, with the the slave trade lady. Mm. And, and and I think it was in his country in, in Benin or something like that. Benin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it's interesting. Uh, I I always like to hear the um the perspective. I like know what's lost in a lot of it is. Was there no one left from the people that were taken? You know what I mean? What are the survivors from those people's stories? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, like that's yeah. my long less long, my long less relatives that might be over there. You know what I mean? Of every black person in this country, you know what I'm saying, has that long lost relative that might be over there. And what was their recollection of it all? You know what I mean? Is there a way to connect people to that shit? You know what I'm saying? You know what though? I think that might fall into what they were saying about with voodoo. They never wrote it down, and they say one of the big reasons was because they didn't right. know how to read and write. So I, I could imagine in that same area, same type of people, same thing. You know, they didn't right, even know right. how to read and write, so they didn't even know about passing it down. Maybe about word of mouth, like they're saying with right. voodoo, but it's tough. They're just, they're just being lazy and shit. Now just think about it. <laughs> like y'all just ain't think about it. Not one damn picture on a rock. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, no, sorry, I, was, yeah, I was just about to go to that. That's I was work, just about to go bro, to that. Gonna, I was just about to go got, to that. I already envisioned shit. My people are gonna be overworked in the future. I don't want to. I don't want to see no more. I, yo, I was going into that because you know we talking about voting when this is from Africa and things like that. So who knows? Maybe you know the ancient civilizations in Egypt 
with all the, with the pharaohs and all of that, and, and the hieroglyphics, maybe that was some sort of voodoo. Right. Definitely. It was all, it was it all, a, 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 all a, a source of it. You know, I, there was you know? one called the, um, uh, the Mithra, the god of Mithra. He's the bull slayer. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole, he's like the sun, the sun god or something, uh, uh, Mithra. There was this whole big thing. It was a religion and, a, and a, a, you know, a following behind this Mithra god. But it's like, it, there's nobody to this day, you know what I mean, that is following Mithra. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? But at some point, these people existed, you know, and people found it real. Like, mm. if, if you could say somebody can walk on water, then maybe it's not so far off that there's a flying unicorn, a flying horse called a Pegasus. I don't know. <laughs> like, them stories kind of are like seem stretched out. They're really good stories, but. Bro, we, we spoke about. We spoke about dragons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, spoke, yeah, I'm still undecided. I'll put it to you like that. Right. I mean, shit, there was some flying animals. There was all kinds of, like, big, I mean, creatures. There was all kinds of majestic creatures that were even introduced in the Bible. Uh, uh, Help me out. I haven't really read the Bible, but from what I, what my understanding, there was uh, all kinds of, like, uh, um, if you would, like, if you were to put the Bible into a movie, it would become a very, um, a fantasy version of, you know what I mean, yeah. of what, what, what is... You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what every religion, if you really think about, think about us now and what we know and what we see and what is possible. Mm -hmm. We're not going to believe that. We're not going to believe somebody's going to walk on. If a motherfucker did that right now, not David Blaine, where it's a, it's a damn yeah. magic trick. You know what I'm saying? But like somebody actually did that. Yep. You know what I mean? You're like, no fucking way. No fucking way that's ever happened. These eyes will never see anything like that. These mm -hmm. eyes will never see a man's ear get cut off and a guy go over and just glaze his hand over it and he has an <laughs> ear now. We're never gonna, you would never believe that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like almost like way back then that was believed. So did we just run out of belief and that's why those, that's why those things stop happening? You know what I mean? Or did it, or was it exaggerated? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> listen, I know that that oh! is the storyline to the movie Hook, but. <laughs> 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 <It's stupid. laughs> Bro, it really is. You remember Peter Pan couldn't go back because he didn't believe anymore. <laughs> Rest in peace to Robin Williams. Rest, Rest in peace to Robin Robbie Williams. Williams. Robbie Will, you know what I'm saying? But I, yo, you know, yo, it, it, but that's crazy you say that because a lot of people. How do how do people pass the truth off when you don't want when when it's hard to believe? They put it in cartoons. They put it in in, right, in, yeah. in all types of different types of ways. Have to make it in an exaggerated who knows? fashion that, that could to probably get be, Peter Pan could probably be some real shit. Exactly. Right. And they just they just like the joke is it all. They think it's. It's really a thing, you know. Yeah. My whole thing is like the magic in the bottle of humanity ran out at some point. If that's the case yeah. with all, you know, what I mean, every religion of what every religion is saying of things that happened that were like yes. mind blowing fucking events in your life. Yeah. They're like, holy shit, that happened. Like a fucking, you know, like a, a plague came and it was a whole fucking. Uh, uh, um, what's the what's the what's the uh, the the, uh, the was it the del? Am I saying it right? Deluge or the del? You know, what I mean the the doles, the luge. I think deluge is. I, was I think it's deluge think. is the proper term, yeah. right? But that was like a big fucking flood, or you know what I mean? That happened. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like that shit really happened. You know what I mean? Or, or like, did a yeah. man really fucking split a seat with a staff? You, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, you got to go into these stories, and that's why I always say it's like I keep my mind open because it's like you're you're basically believing in something that you would never believe in could happen right now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, it, it's really crazy to think about that. You know what I'm yep. saying? It's like, so you kind of question is like, wow, where do I go with that? You kind of almost like, but then you feel like there's certain things that aren't explained within people, like energy and shit. Like you can't explain certain things, yep. coincidences and shit like that. To say that that's where that term comes that, you know, you know, me, me, you know, me and five, I learned that time of uh, the agnostic. You know what I mean? That's a title they give people that saying, I'm not 100% here saying that's real, but I, I'm not 100% saying it's not either. You know what I mean? Yo, I, I, I can't say there's enough for me to constantly put my egg yeah. in all those baskets. You know, I can't say 100% it's not real, and I can't say 100% it is. And they call those people agnostics. That's where they kind of, they lay, I said, oh, I never knew that. I guess I'm kind of labeled that. I kind of feel that way. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, for, for have, me, another, another thing when I was young, I always thought like, well, only one of these is right. 
You know what I'm saying? So like right. Christians are right and then everyone else is wrong and they die and go to right. hell. Like, what well, what are we doing? Right. Like none of right. this sounds cool. I know, and this is me I at know. like five years old getting told to shut <laughs> right. the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm just like <laughs> Everybody uh-uh. dies but these people? What makes them yeah. special? You know? <laughs> and then and then when you think about, well, what are the chances that I'm just born here? And I'm born here and then we follow this and that's the right thing. Like it just, none of it ever made sense to me, but for people that are born and have a strong connection to it, more power to them. You know what I mean? Right. I, so that's right. how I'm like, for those that I'm not like against it. I'm just, right. I don't have a strong draw, right. but, but I'm, then you uh, got, then you got to tap into what you said before about certain things is, is that considered at times that people can go crazy, considered a, just another form of propaganda, same thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's, saying it's control, right? It controls control. a lot of people. Remember, remember before government, religion was your government. You know what I mean? That kind of controlled things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back that then, was the yeah. hierarchy. The hierarchy was the, you know what I mean? And and what better way to kind of, if you tell stories of things that are going to really bad happen to you, now you got to come up with a really good enough story for some of this stuff. Yeah. You know, like some of it could be true, some of it could be added to fabricate. I think people started touching it and adding shit in. This is a, a good book there. There's, yeah, there's something good yeah. there. There's something that is true there. You're I'm not, not going to know until you know, it. man. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then when you know, you might not even know then. Who knows? Mm. Might just, think you know. <laughs> might think you know. <laughs> but uh, knowing well, you is know what else battle I, is G.I. Joe. Exactly. G.I. Joe. <laughs> you know what else I wish that they went into is they talked about the blood and putting the blood on, but we kind of only saw the blood as like the last topping. You know what I'm saying? When there was so much, there was so much shit underneath the, not don't mean shit in a bad way. I just stopped right. just, underneath. Just and then it was like, then they're pouring the blood on top. I wanted to know like what else made that. Right. But you know what's there? crazy though? You know, you know, what, you know what's crazy? And- you know what's crazy though? It's probably something they can't disclose. You know what I mean? They probably told them don't show people. Our be, yeah. Right. It's you know probably I mean? sacred. It's probably sacred. sacred. You could see the it's end. Sacred. You could see the end, but you right. can't see the, the process kind of deal. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's right. a, that's right. a good right. point. Yeah. Right. It's like, it's no sacred. process for you, nigga. You get to see the end part. <laughs> but, it, because it's exactly. because somebody did exactly what you did. But what's in the middle, though? Not no yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> right. Right. We don't As trust a matter of fact, you, you know and all these cameras right now got to get the fuck out of here while we do this. Right. We make this sausage. Right, or you will yeah. be the sausage, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> because right. you look at mighty taste. It, go, it goes to the term. It goes to the term that we use over here. If I tell you, I gotta kill you. Right. Mm. If I tell you, I gotta put. I gotta put you down. Glue factory. Two in the dome. <laughs> if I tell life. you, I gotta kill you. Listen. So well, I, I mean, think all, it, it. It's also crazy that I still think that they're in a war against. Chris- I don't want maybe not a war, but I still think they're resisting the invasion of Christianity to this day. It feels right? that it's way. Like, it feels right. that way. It, it feels, feels like way. because they didn't want to be colonized. They didn't right. want to be. You know, they wanted they to be who they were, and they wanted to stay who they were. Right. You know what I'm and saying? For people to come and dictate. They like, were happy that way. These people are yeah. below us. Look at their primitive ways. Ah, you don't even know what gunpowder is. Watch this. You know what I mean? It's like they didn't want all that. They weren't looking for that. That yeah. means they were. That means because they were. Had they were in tune like with the earth, man. They were right. in tune with the soul, with the spirit. I feel you know like the I mean? majority of the people were probably more positive, man, at that time. And and then you had the, you know, your little regime of negative, man. Like any empire that's ever ruled, man. It was your, you know, you think about like the Roman Empire. You know, Italy ain't that yep. fucking big compared to like the size of Russia, the size of fucking Europe in general. But they ran shit. You know what I mean? Because yeah. everybody, almost like everybody in that country was a soldier. You were a soldier or a wife. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <That. Yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? If you couldn't fight, you were a poet or something. You better, you better be useful somehow, nigga, or you're going to be on the front line and be one of the people that get killed first. <laughs> yeah. Send them in first. The ones that we don't care. They ain't got no use. Let them die. <laughs> yeah, those were yeah, those were the sacrifices. Right, but you think about like people just had the way of convincing people, and, and you know, you had a small empire. You know, now you're going to Africa, getting broken up into like different groups of people, and you know, there was kings, man. There was kings back then. It was you know, and that's not really talked about a lot, man. I feel like, you know, the most you ever hear about Africa is gonna go straight to Egypt when it comes to like royalty. Right, like right. I mean, I mean, unless unless it's Nas talking, you know what I mean? I've learned more about <laughs> Africa from fucking Nas than pretty much anything. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we're going back. You know what I mean? The be- in the belly, right. I'm going back to Africa. Exactly. Like, what you talk about, nigga? 
You know, and in, uh, <laughs> I know I can. He talks about we was raised kings and queens, and he was talking right. about all that stuff. Right. Because mm -hmm. the, the information is out there, and it's like it's yep. there to dig, but it was never really. They didn't really hit the history it's, books. You heard about the Rolling Stones. They're not going to tell you it was there. Right. It's there, but they're not going to tell you it was there. Right. You know they only saying? highlighted the, the, the empires they wanted to highlight. You know what I mean? Because the stuff that is there is so, it's so powerful. It's so it, you know, it, it's so fulfilling. Makes you it makes you want it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Because I mean, nothing's more bigger talked about than the Roman Empire and in, in, in the in the uh, Egyptian. You know what I mean? The Egyptian the Pharaoh, Empire. Yep. The Pharaoh Empire. Like you know, those are yep. huge. Like the talks and there's like. There was other ones in there, like the Assyrian Empire. Yeah. They, they were big as shit too. The Syrians, yep. Assyrians, like yeah. yo, they had a crazy empire. You know, that's the Serbian. Uh, uh, um, of course, the Greeks. You know, they did what they did. The Siberian Empire is at one time. Oh, what was it? No, the, was it right. the Serbs. Mongolia. What, what was empire. it? Three hundred in the in three hundred. Oh, uh, they were. No. Uh, what were they? They were. They were Spartans. They were Greeks. No, I know the Greeks, but who were they fighting? Oh, those were the uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, Siberians. Uh, no, 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 the Persians. The Persians, okay, yeah. You Persians. had the Persian, you had the Persian fucking uh they they had their fucking right. rule. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You had you had the jet you had the Chinese and their and their time of rule was Well Shim the Persians Su. I think were uh also uh right, Assyrians or no they didn't they're not the same. Syrians, there you go. That's what I was looking that's for. That's why I said the Assyrian the Assyrian that's why I said the Assyrian Empire was big, man. But they, you know, they yes. didn't really get that much textbook kind of teaching, you know. Romans got all the love. I feel like I did. I did fucking book reports on the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, you know. another thing. Let me say this before you it. say anything. Fine. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. I get it. Let's get it. But I just wanted to say, everybody, I believe that Achilles was actually black. <laughs> you got Achilles being the black dude. He's an athlete. <laughs> he was pretty athletic. Just think about <laughs> though, how they described him. An army of black, dressed in all black, dude was black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the Italians and the Moros, remember the dark skin, you know, the, the low tide. I don't know, something like that. It's just a... <laughs> yeah, my, my bad, my bad. I, I, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. <coughs> I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. I had it, and then I had it again. Fuck! Um, I'm sorry, man. No, no, it's all good. It, it all because of been... fucking Brad Pitt. Motherfucker. <laughs> I love that movie, by the way. No, because yeah, yeah, yeah. what I was doing is I had the um, documentary on it. Oh, this is it. They didn't talk about fucking voodoo dolls at all. Like, yeah, yeah. they mentioned like, yeah, about they said what, that what, stuff, what, but right. I wish they were like, and this is why they did that. This is what, you know, like, right. no, Give we don't have no voodoo dolls. To like, where did well, that, where like, did the book, yeah, this right. is the bad part. Come from? <laughs> right. Yeah. Where did, it, where did the, the stereotype come from? You know exactly. I mean, or, or the, well, the, he said it was more sauce. That that's more black magic and sorcery. He said, with the with the, with the, with the voodoo instead dolls. of dolls voodoo. and shit. Yeah, right. It but just got said, pinned, it got pinned to the wrong belief. Like, or there's it's, a thing or that he exists, did say, but they still gave a part it of like the sorcery the exists, though. He did say that. Yeah, because he yeah, gave the they were saying how, with the goat, yeah. right? It was that they put the uh, spirit or the soul into the goat. It was kind of like a yes, copy and paste into the goat. And then he fucks up the goat. Oh man! And then the guy feels it. Whatever the animal feels, yeah. the person will feel it. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, that's so, fucking yeah. insane. So they did They're touch tune, on it, but man. it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the dolls. But yeah, they the did brothers talk about are, it with those the brothers are in tune, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Ooh. imagine you go, to, you know, you're going to Africa, you're on a trip. You know what I'm saying? You see a guy come up to you, he bumps you and shit. You push him back, you beat him up. And now he goes to the fucking sorcery guy and says, "Listen, this guy from America, he just beat me up. I, I was minding my business." Right, oh, and I yeah. got a piece. I got a piece of his hair right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? Oh, I got right. him under my fingernails. You know what I'm saying? Got my finger right here. So right now, right. So now, DNA. So now a guy down. that you just, you know, happened to beat up because he bumped you and you thought he was being an ass. Oh, yeah. Now, now you, you, you're feeling your fucking stomach and you're feeling all types of ways, and it's because he fucking did some voodoo shit to you. Right. Fuck around. It's, it's a real crazy, thing. Man. It's white magic. There's black magic, man. You know, it's it's a, it's a thing. People dabble. I think man. I think I think where it twists and turns. And please don't take this the wrong way, because I don't mean it in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I'm already taking it the wrong way. <laughs> I know. I know. But it, it's just because I don't know, so I don't want it to come off wrong. But but what I've been seeing and, and but what I've I've known is that. I think it started going 
topsy turvy when the Haitians got involved. Hmm. Because a lot of Haitians do a lot of black magic in voodoo. Hmm. And you think that's the result saying? of why the country is a third and world country? And I think right I think when the Haitians got involved, they took it to the next step and made it more of a personal thing. Now, than, is that propaganda from the Bido called Hades hell? Ooh. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just putting that I'm making that no, I'm making that connection. That's coming together. All right. I'm making that connection from from A the movie Serpent and Rainbow, then mm. also from Haitian dudes that I've talked to about shit because they said because they also say, look, vo voodoo is just something you don't play with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it is, it is it's very real and it also, you know, <laughs> depends on the person, you know, you 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 you, you do it with. If the person you do it with, you know, has the right heart and the right mind and is Intention. doing it for the right reasons and the right intentions, mm -hmm. then okay. But you also have dudes that do it with, you know, with, with their own hidden agendas. Right. You, negative you, you, negative the guy bias. Was like, negative maybe, bias. Let's say you, you know, you go up Bad to a guy and say, listen, you know, um, because they always tell you when, when you go to, when you're going to do some of these things, what you don't want is to ask, you know, to be the richest guy to have, you know, all the girls, you Big know, those shit. type of shit, that type of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. they, they always tell you, stay away from those type of requests. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, but if you do do those requests, the guy that's going to do that for you is going to keep, is going to keep, is going to basically have you in his pocket because now he's giving you a power where let's say it's money. Now you're getting all this money. So now he's like, now I want to cut. Now you got to give me a cut of everything that you get. And if you don't give me a cut, X, Y, Z is going to happen. So now, now he's got you in his pocket. So those, there's certain things that you don't want to get involved when you're involved, you know, when you are doing this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, there's where I come from with my, with my assumption, because it is an assumption um, mm -hmm. that um, where, the, where the Haitians came in and, and like did their own, their own thing to it. <laughs> That's that, you, you know, know superhero mean? shit with the power and the responsibility. Like if you, and I, yeah. we, we've said on the Watermelon vs. Pumpkin podcast plenty of times, yo, bad guys still exist. Like people forget that. It's not, you know, life right. seems like a movie, but there's people that bad people are negative. Out there. Yeah, they're right. all people villains out there. Harm. Real life villains. Absolutely. People, yeah. that would, Absolutely. people that enjoy doing harm to people, they're real. Yep. They get all <laughs> that shit. Man. It's fucking weird. It's, it's, yeah, they are, man. And you don't know if it's your neighbor or not. Keep just to fucking watch people cry or... Just see them in, in, in shambles. Like, they get right, a kick yeah. out of that. You know what I mean? Right. Just like people like doing pain physically to themselves. Like, there's different yep. kinds of thresholds of excitement. Thresholds yeah. of excitement? Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a That's title. That's a theme park. <laughs> That's a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> thresholds of excitement. T-O-E. <laughs> <laughs> toe park, nigga. Go you had to the toe. toe, toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Thresholds of excitement. I like it. <laughs> Yo, but what it sounds uh, like a mess band name? <laughs> what, what um a band, a band name? A band name, yeah. Nigga. <laughs> you know what was weird too, though? Yo, bae, yo, bae, yo, bae, yo, bae. It kind of seemed like at the end they didn't get it all together. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, I it's at Hey, never mind what I was saying. Which tell me about this wrong candle. <laughs> Let's get into that. <laughs> what you guys got going on? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. What, yeah, you wrong fucked candle. up. They want to yeah, know yeah, what yeah. wrong candle. Now. No, what's the wrong one? Well, one of them was a birthday present. Ooh. Oh. And one of them's ours, but you got it. So I got the right candle. You got the right one. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. Round of applause nice. comes from the watermelon versus pumpkin. Watermelon right. versus pumpkin right. podcast. Right. We got a round of applause right. coming. Right. I don't know. It's coming out. Round of applause. Coming out. Coming in hot. Beautiful shit, thing. I knew I had faith in you. It's all because we watched this voodoo documentary and you was in tune. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you knew which, you know. You knew a candle. Uh, subconsciously you knew, and physically, you were connected with that chicken in that candle. You knew which wick needed the flame. What is that? <laughs> That's Mav's leftover sandwich. Which is? Uh, it was bacon. Is it a Reuben? Is it a Reuben? DJ says <laughs> All right, I'm good. Not a, it's not a Reuben. <laughs> it's not a Reuben. Fuck. It's, it's, it's a DJ. That's a good uh, t shirt. It's not a Reuben. <laughs> it's not a Reuben. <laughs> no, but the what hand. I was saying is, I didn't uh, end the documentary thinking, like, 
okay, cool. They finally decided to write it down. It still seemed like they were kind of yes. like, yeah, man, yes. someone's going to write this shit down. Yeah, right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to do it? Who's going to be the guy? Yeah. <laughs> right here. Somebody type out this documentary. That's the best we got. <laughs> I know, because it was like they said back in the day that people couldn't read or write, but I'm like, yo, now you can probably read. All right, we, we've, so, we've we've come far. Right. We've come we've we've come a long way, guys. Listen, yeah. I know somebody has taught you guys to read and write somewhere. Hey, listen, if Tom Hanks could make a fucking person out of a volleyball, nigga, you could paint something on the wall for me. Exactly. <laughs> come on, Wilson is alive, B. One of my favorite movies, by the way. <laughs> but then you have to wonder: Are they not doing it on purpose so it doesn't get into the hands right. of the wrong people? Of the wrong people. We, that 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 is also in, a good point. Right, we keep it. Point. We keep it to the point that if you know, you know, and the yeah. right. people that are family right. to them right. know the story, and that's good enough for them. I tell you, don't forget, because you ain't doing drugs. Remember that shit. Have children and tell them. That's all you got to do for me. Yeah. Pineapple yeah. and pomegranate. But then at at one point, it kind of does make sense not to the, write it the, down. Because think of it today. All right, it gets it gets written down. That shit's gonna get leaked to the internet. Then everybody knows how to do voodoo. It's gonna be like fucking Jumanji outside. (laughs) 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 And they got ancient rituals like niggas stealing the shit, summoning. Like our God ain't coming back no more. Oh why? Because he's in fucking Omaha, Nebraska right now. (laughs) <laughs> trying to yeah. help out some shake, lady in their backyard shake. fucking cutting chicken's heads off. Right? Because oh, Bruce really? downloaded the fucking voodoo Bible on his fucking laptop. Right. He's got the fucking the voodoo fucking uh, the voodoo the app. <laughs> voodoo app. <laughs> the tutorial, the how to. Oh my god. <laughs> DIY voodoo in the building. <laughs> My first voodoo. My Dude, first I got the voodoo. certification course. Yeah, I got the cert. I'm, I'm certain now. I'm certain you got the cert. Oh, man. But all in all, certified? I, uh, I, I enjoyed this one. Uh, Me too. I enjoyed everything that came out of it. Uh, it was a so How many movie. watermelons you going to give it, buddy? Oh, shit. Hey, I'm getting there. Because you walk it up. Because now, because we, he, wants to eat, he wants to eat that sandwich now. So that's why I think of Russian. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even got a sandwich in front of me. <laughs> Whatever sandwich you were talking about, nigga. I just got Whatever. this. I got shakes. I got liquids. Yeah. I got all liquids in front of me. That's yeah, it. That's you was, I, got. I got this. You were just talking about oh, our shit. sandwich. Oh, you said it's not a movie. Look at me. I'm over here having an accident over here. Look, yeah. I got this. Because I got you're this. fucking. It's because you're hangry, nigga. And you yelled at me to, to rush my pumpkins mm-hmm. in my seat. I thought you almost blew out the candle. You made me rush it. I said that. That's what it was. That's Every what it was. I was, I was show, rushing the process. I'm sorry. 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 I can't help but squeeze a pumpkin out there once in a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take your time, sir. I'm sorry. Jesus. Man, hurry up and buy. That's You're right. You it's a process. You're right. You got to trust hurry the process. Hurry up and buy. I was getting there. I enjoyed this very much. Yes, sir. I now want to be a voodoo doctor. I'm oh, like, come on. Stop it. <laughs> but no, I, uh, I I think it's great to learn about different things around the world and how it can be changed in a different light in your eye from what I thought voodoo was all. It is not all. And that's what I took from this. And uh, yeah, I mean, shout out to him. He's a, he's a great actor. Dishma Husam, uh, um, born from voodoo, which his last name means. Now I know. Hansu, yep. I think it's Hansu, born from voodoo. And he gave a he gave a, a bright light, and it probably was him diving into this documentary. Like, man, I need to get some people some context because they think I'd be just like running around, fucking cutting goats up and sticking my head through it, like the guy did. Maybe he did that shit before. <laughs> we yeah. don't want to talk about it, right? Um, right. right. But all in all, I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give it four. I'm gonna give it four watermelons, man. Mm. I'm gonna give him four watermelons, and uh. You know, I I only left one out because of there was spotted uh, information within at times. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. just kind of, you know what I mean? It was it was a little, the storyline didn't kind of flow up. It kind of flowed. I was still interested the whole time. And then it kind of brought something here and then came back over here. But, you know, all in all, I felt like I have a better uh concept and understanding of like certain different things mm. in other countries and what the word voodoo actually means to people that actually practice it totally different than what people have portrayed it to me in my eyes and what i witnessed so i'm gonna give it four one is just because uh you know what i'm saying and 
you know, he ain't screaming where's the diamond either. So that, you know, kind of disappointed me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but shout out to him, man. I, I, I appreciate that. And shout out to you doing a close up on a nigga real quick. You just <laughs> fucked me up with that. <laughs> it's all about uh, eye contact. So four watermelons for me, man. Four, four watermelons for me, man. Nice, mm-hmm. nice, nice. I, I liked it a lot. Um, I watched it in two days. And I will tell you, the first session I had, I watched a half hour of it. <clears throat> and I was not thrilled. And the second day, I finished it, and I was really happy with it. I really liked the second half of the movie a lot more than the first half. Because like I said, I wish it was switched. I wish they turned it on and went, yeah, you heard about that voodoo shit? Listen, voodoo is nature. Now let me explain to you why. You know, be, instead of the, I get it. They left it for the end. Right. Left like for the climax. I think I would, yeah. <laughs> but maybe they did it on purpose because I feel like I know if I watched it again, now knowing that, I think I would get more out of it. But Right, right. And that's something that happens. Don't you love when you watch a movie the first time and then you go back and it's like you find those things like, ah, why didn't yeah, I see yeah. that coming? They just gave it to me. They gave me clues yeah. right here. Because you weren't looking for it. Eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what's going to happen now, so now you see every clue happening, you know? So now yeah. I, I got to try to do that. I want to I wanna go back and watch things. I tried to watch a couple times. Yeah. Uh, but that one I just couldn't get to because of my uh, data issue. But we talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I, I liked it. And I will um, I'll go one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four pumpkins. Okay. Because pump. for, for the reasons that I have stated, four pumpkins for me. And overall... It was dope. It's a good one. I put it in the uh, column of good or bad. We got good. I'm so big um, team with the I'm side also, bun. I also, uh, I also <laughs> agreed of uh, on what you guys are saying. It was it was definitely entertaining, educational, um, and also scary in my end because, like I said, <laughs> yes, you know, there was couple there was couple scenes that I didn't even look at because mm-hmm. you know of my beliefs. I just figured. It was wrong, and I was just scared as fuck. Like the evil just eye, you get the, the little green horn. Yeah. That the, um, the, the, the so, um, I, I also, I'm also going to give it full canepas. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Um, it was great. It was great. Also, you know, it was, it was, it, and and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm giving it four is because it did leave a lot of open ended stuff and had me thinking on my own about a lot of things. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But in a nutshell. In a nutshell, it did it did um, clear up you know a lot of things. It, it gave me a, a a new a new eye on on a new respect on voodoo. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm saying. And um, at least now, I'm I'm uh, I'm more informed. You know what I mean. I, I have information. Yep. You know what I mean. It's not like I'm I'm in the blind now. You know what I'm saying. So now when when it, when voodoo happens or something, I'm more understanding to it. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Right. It's not all um, bad. But yeah, man, it was a it was a great pick. I'm I'm glad you you, you picked that. You know what I, I mean? redeemed myself. Yeah. Redeemed. Fucking yeah, Edmonds, my, I think this you is my I think this is my redemption. Wasn't this my redemption? The yeah, last yeah, yeah, yeah. You did good. You did good. You did good, man. You did good. This is God. my redemption. I wanna thank you for watching my voodoo and shining your light on me. Yeah, I wanna thank you for watching my voodoo.